Hello gang, welcome back to yet another episode of Stalker. So, I'm trying to figure out exactly what the best course of action is here. I am completely overweighted. I do think, if I recall correctly, um, I got everything out of here. I just want to double check and make sure. Yeah, empty. Everything else is perfect. All right, great. So, we're going to leave this place and head over to fishing camp. Um, where we're going to be depositing a lot of stuff. We're going to spend the next couple of days clearing out Coastal Highway. When we're done with Coastal Highway. Um, we're going to push on. I think my next uh, destination is going to be Mystery Lake. We're going to dump all the way through Mystery Lake. Um... And then from there, if I get good enough clothing, we'll head through Winding River Access all the way up to Pleasant Valley. Clear out the Signal Hill Tower. Best spot for another Expedition Parka. Or at least a good shot at one. And then I think we're going to plot a course. I don't really want to clear out all of Pleasant Valley because Pleasant Valley is stinking huge. Um, as the trumpet would say, it's huge. Anyway... Uh, so just the basic main locations is what I'd be taking care of over there. There's no wolves over here. If I, if I recall, there's a corpse over here on the tooth I'll take. Um. So yeah, we'll, we'll shoot for making a run up to the top of Timberwolf Mountain. When we're done with Timberwolf Mountain and getting whatever best loot from there I want. Um, beautiful night, by the way. Gorgeous. Uh, from there, I think we're going to be planning on taking a little journey. <sighs> I, I guess we'd honestly have to come back through Mystery Lake. There's no other access point. So I'd have to come back around through Mystery Lake. And uh, I thought there was a body over here. I guess not. Is it over here? I forget where half the bodies in this game can be sometimes, but anyway. Come back through Mystery Lake, and I think we're going to plot a course to stay in Forlorn Muskeg for a while, or else we'll just go straight from Mystery Lake up to Mountain Town. Um, I've not spent really any time in the entirety of that region, really, except in story mode, which, by the way, we're going to be redoing when um, the update lands, whenever that may be. It's going to be a while, but whenever it lands is when I'll be uh, doing. Nine, not bad. Once I get this clothing repaired, we'll be better off. Still got to clear misanthropes. Still got to clear jackrabbits. I uh, still got to clear the town site. Um, we're going to start with clearing these cabins up here come morning time, though. Once I get here and drop some loot off, we'll be repairing clothes by burning the midnight oil or it's just standing outside. I'm not sure which. I have to light a fire to stay outside. I mean, it's feasible, but I don't know how much wood I've got on me or how long I want to spend doing that. Nothing on him, that's fair. I do want to get plenty more materials, though, for making equipment, um, such as more arrows, uh, bows, guts. I do want some, I can't find any, I want some crafted clothing. I can't find anything good like snow pants, ski boots, or mukluks. Um, my biggest beef with the ski boots is the mobility uh, reduction on your sprint. Um, as someone who snowboards, I can tell you that it certainly is indeed awkward, but totally not out of the question to run in boots. Um, the only thing I would rather see is a reduction in the speed at which you can sprint while wearing them rather than the massive reduction in stamina. Uh, it doesn't really require that much more stamina to run in them. Um, you don't really necessarily have to run heel toe. Granted, ski boots are far different than snowboard boots. They're far more solid, so uh, it's definitely a different game. So, mostly not positive on that one. But yeah, Mucklux is going to be my preferred source. You know, considering the workbenches over here let's set up shop in this cabin and we'll fill out to these three as needed in terms of gear and loot i don't really see any need to be keeping up through all the 
all of them for that. All right, so oh, we actually got some decent moonlight in here. Pork and beans, something under there. Metal container. This is where we're gonna be putting storage. See any clothes lying about? Can't only really tell if there's anything under the beds. All right. Ragged hoodie, not really caring about you, you're gonna get torn down. You can go in there, I don't need this much antiseptic. You can go, throw you in there as well. Start with resources. I don't have that many resources on me, I'm not too worried about it. Let's drop these birch saplings off while I'm thinking about them. Get that curing process started. Um, tools, I don't need this many flares. One flare is acceptable, I only need one hacksaw. Don't need this much fuel on me. I don't want the rifle. Don't need this many pry bars. Don't want the tools on me. Or the rifle cleaning kits. I don't need two lamps on me. Um, it's gotten tools down a fair bit. Food. I don't need all this food. We'll get rid of tomato soup. It's the least weight per calories. Um, same with pinkle peaches. Same with all our herbal tea. And beans can go in there, pork and beans can go in there. Clothing, I don't need this ragged hoodie. Don't need those on me, don't need this on me. Everything else is golden. I don't need this many painkillers on me, they don't weigh much, but every little bit adds up. Don't need two stems on me. Firewood's half decent. So we're decent, oh I don't need two. There we go. All right, so we're decent on that count. Is it bright enough in here to attempt? Nah. Okay. We can find a sewing kit somewhere. We'll take care of that. Let's break this curtain down. We're not that tired. Let's, let's go for a little bit longer on getting these materials in. Oh, there was nothing in the second crate. I thought there might have been. Should be plenty of cloth right there. Let's eat and sleep and drink. Be merry. Uh, beef jerky's fine. Pork and beans is fine. We won't eat all of it. We'll just eat some of it. And our water. Not even gonna be able to sleep that long, but yeah. All right, we probably got a blizzard out here, but let's go clear the other two uh, cabins. Hi, blizzard, do you? It's an interesting hunting knife find. Singular rifle cartridge. Pop in here, anything good. Possibility for some clothes. Kinda hoping for a sewing kit. Make my life way easier when it comes to uh, repairing stuff rather than using fishing line. Get all that. Yeah, if you've got sewing kits, go ahead and use them. Eventually, you're going to be relying on fishing line. You want your sewing skill as high as possible by that point. Fishing line can last a long time for sewing purposes, so... It's always good to maximize that. Sewing kits are finite. Of course, this is stalker, though, so there's going to be plenty. I just haven't gotten any yet. Yeah, definitely far different ball game than Interloper. I mean, I don't even have to starve myself all day. I can literally, even with uh, relying on processed foods, just keep going and going and going. Not worry too much about it.
No, it's dark in here. There we go. Work boots is better than what I've got. Uh, another baseball cap? Really? I thought there was a medicine cabinet in one of these cabins. Yeah, there's not really much else in here. Take 15 minutes to do this. Sun should almost be up by now. We'll sleep as long as it'll let us. Which won't be long. By now it should. Yep, it's light. And I can get to work repairing what I need to repair. Watch it fill. Yeah, called it. Fishing line and low repair skill results in failures often. At 55%, that's decent enough for me to not be terribly concerned about it. Not worried about my pants. I am kind of worried about this guy, but I'd rather find a sewing kit first. I just wanted to get that up enough. Um, clothing. Yeah, it's up a decent amount. Let's drink soda. I, t I get sick of carrying soda around for the calories and the thirst it replenishes it's not much they're they are nice but they're just weighty so I'd rather get rid of them as soon as possible we should be warm enough now to stock around outside yeah not bad snow's still falling pretty heftily though Just gotta watch out for wolves out here. I have very limited sight lines. It's pretty snowy, pretty foggy. Luckily, I'm pretty safe up here on the docks. Nothing hidden up inside here? All right. Nothing on there. Let's get this corpse out of the way. Head on over to Jackrabbits. Pray for a sewing kit. Now, I don't ever go this way on Loper, but here in Stalker, there can sometimes be a soda can. There can also sometimes be a sapling and a container up, of, uh, up off over here. So it's, it's a fair thing to check out when the loot tables, their generation's a bit higher. Yeah, there's my maple sapling. Yeah, the soda can. I don't know where that typically spawns at. I kind of forget. Maybe it's up, up, up over on this one. Yeah, this is what I was talking about in a previous episode, was the walk time to get to anywhere from jackrabbits is a, a fair time. I mean, obviously it's not the worst, but you have more energy and time efficient base potentials at your disposal rather than relying on jackrabbits. Another soda. How many stones do I have? Three. It's a few. Guess we can pick up a couple more. Five should be good. We're not stoning rabbits today. We'll come back for that another time. Uh, unlike Loper, where I feel like every degree is paramount, this is Stalker. Uh, it's day two or three or whatever it is, and it's not going to be very long before I'm energy or uh, temperature positive all the time. Brings back so many memories of climbing up and down this hill a thousand times. That one run I had. It was a great run, but... Avast. Avast? No, I'm not a pirate. Alas, all things must come to an end. I 
One does need to be careful up here. There can occasionally be wolves. Pretty rare, but it's possible. It's not as bad as Misanthropes. Misanthropes, like, always has a wolf. That can path right up that hill to the to the front end, the front door, whatever. Yeah, maybe I, if I can dig up that screenshot, I'll show you guys and paste it over of how much wood I had in here at one point. It was ridiculous. Uh. Nobody needs this anymore. Well, there's my other uh, parka. I'd rather have an expedition parka, but... Dog food. <laughs> Last cupboard's got some dog food. All right. Uh, nothing else really good in here. Fridge and freezer. Let's check you. Soda. Fair. Let's eat that rabbit meat right away. There we go. No food poisoning. We're golden. Any good clothes? Nah, trash. A wool shirt. Definitely better than the hoodie. Hoodie's actually better than that, though. Wool mittens. Bad condition, but we can repair that. If I can get a sewing kit, that'd be great. Ooh, some more wool socks. It's better than that. Ah, nothing. All right, sewing kit, please. Yeah, yeah. There it is. Typically not something that hard to find, but sometimes it's just, it is what it is. All right, how long is it gonna take to get these mittens up? I'd rather do this crap at night though. What time of day is it? Eh, early day. It's not bad. We'll wait. We'll wait. We'll go check up my cabins real quick. Up the hillside. Actually, first let's check out my friendly guy down here. When I did that really long stalker run of mine, every time I wore out a bow, and uh, where I kept all my excess feathers, because feathers don't really have condition or deteriorate. Um, I'd stack all my bows up down here and I made a feathered headdress on this guy. How much overweight am I? Enough I'm gonna stop. I mean, it's on my way anyway, heading up the hillside to the cabins, but enough. Hold on, let me see. I think it's enough though that I'm gonna stop. Um, stop off and drop everything off here before we push on up the hillside to the cabins. I'm surprised for Stalker, I haven't seen any wolves. Uh, yeah, speak of the devil. I haven't seen any wolves yet today, but there they are. Still clear all the way rest around me. We'll check out this fishing hut real quick, see if there's anything good in it. Then we'll head back, drop everything off, and head up and get those cabins. And uh, the, what's it called? I'm trying to think of its name now. Bear Creek Campground, I guess. Anything good? Yeah, some scrap metal. I'll take it. Hmm. 
Yeah, we're gonna be dropping all this crap off. Uh, what the crows? I wonder if it means clear is coming or if wind. Or denser fog. Could be anything really. Wouldn't appreciate denser fog. I hate dense fog. Dense fog, I would say, is probably um, a bigger killer than blizzards because more often than not you can find decent shelter in blizzards and wait it out um but dense fog if you've got to travel in it you don't think it's that bad because it's not cold it's typically not windy etc but you cannot see predators so you kind of have to take things really slow otherwise you're in for a big risk Some more pinnacle peaches. Very good. So yeah, tonight, no, it may not be this episode, but whenever, wherever we're at for the night, when we decide to bed down, um, right before we do that, we're gonna repair everything. Make sure we get it up nice, nice and good. I feel like we've been going for a fair time. I'll check and see how long we've been going. We may just end the episode after I get everything sorted. Uh, my last episode was far too long for my liking. I know you guys enjoy the episodes and stuff, but I don't want to keep it too long. I like to keep them a bit shorter. Alright, whatever clothes I'm not wearing, get in here. Not you. There we go. Food, once again, a buttload of it. Get rid of you, get rid of you. Not really carrying so many tools, but get rid of the books. Why didn't it let me scroll down? Seriously, game? Is it just this container that's borked? There we go. Why isn't the mouse wheel working? I'm curious. Got my green maple sapling. Don't want to forget that. Got all this scrap metal I don't need. And we'll go over here, drop off firewood. And then we'll also deal with all this bloody fire starting I've got. There, that works pretty much. Let's get rid of these. Boom, done, great. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna call the episode here. Let me just step outside and back in to save real quick. Just to make sure everything's fine and dandy. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. I've been Lonely Wolf and I hope you have enjoyed a little not so uh, intense adventure for once.